Hello, welcome to Movie Night Movie Review. Vincent's pick tonight is The Twilight Zone, the episode The Lonely from 1959. The episode stars Jack Warden, John Denner, and Gene Marsh. It was written by Rod Serling. This is from Season 1, Episode 7, if you're interested in checking it out. The Twilight Zone often starts with this really cool montage at the beginning with the spiral, which you can't tell if it's inverted or whatever. But anyway, it, uh, it's a really cool opening and leaves you wondering uh, what you're going to see this week. It's really cool. And of course, Rod Serling opens the episode with his really cool and awesome narration, kind of laying out what we're going to see tonight. I was drawn to this story because it's basically a science fiction story at heart and there's also a, uh, a love story involved as well which makes it even better and it's really just a cool episode. I don't know what it is about it but I just uh, can really relate to the story and I thought it was just really awesome. This story is about James Corey, a convict who was sentenced to solitary confinement on an asteroid that's very barren and pretty much looks the same all over just like you see in these images there's nothing there just a little hot box hut that he lives in and he uh, s kind of fritters his time away with hobbies like he built that old jalopy car pretty much melts and sweats all day in the sun with really nothing to do by himself so it's a pretty horrible situation that uh, he finds himself in and like I said it's a 50 year sentence so God help him with that said, the only reprieve that poor Corey has from his uh, wretched loneliness on this planet is that every three to six months or so, a supply ship led by uh, Captain Allenby, played by John Denner, they stop by there, and uh, like I said, every three to six months, and maybe they play uh, checkers and things like that and talk a little bit, but they're only there for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then it's another three to six months again. Poor Corey will often uh, share with Captain Allenby his uh, feelings and emotions and he kind of lets it all out about how lonely he is and how he's getting ready to go start raving mad and can't take another minute of it. Allenby's starting to feel sorry for poor Corey and uh, you know he often brings him presents and magazines and stuff only this trip he decides to bring him a very large crate that contains something that he says uh, you know open it up after we leave and there's no instructions you just got to basically activate it and nothing you really need to do and then he leaves and to Corey's surprise Allen believes him a female robot or robot as Captain Allen pronounces it <laughs> Now this is quite a twist in the story and seems to be the perfect solution now to poor Corey's plight. However, Corey is a bit of a prideful man and old-fashioned man and he's actually quite offended by her presence which is uh, pretty surprising. Um, I mean I suppose I guess if we were in that situation we'd feel a little bit uh, patronized and kind of put off a bit. I mean, I suppose it's understandable at first. It's a first gut reaction. He learns that her name is Alicia and to his surprise she actually has feelings and can even cry and pretty much do everything <clears throat> a woman could do for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he slowly comes around and uh, she brings him around and she becomes the joy of his life and he feels that his loneliness now has been solved and she's important to him and part of him and just pretty much like a, a, real, a real woman would be so and of course with that said I don't want to give away the ending or how this all plays out but uh, you know how the Twilight Zone is uh, it's that kind of an ending so if you've never seen this one uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you, and hopefully uh, you enjoy it. I've heard a lot of reactions online that people are often disturbed by the ending, and very much so, and uh, it, it is. You know, I often watch this. I've seen this. I think I've seen this episode probably a million times, and I always wish it's going to end differently. I don't, know, I don't know what it is. I always think there's going to be some different ending, but uh, it ends like it ends, so just warning you. 
couple little tidbits I had for you about uh, Rod Serling mainly and Gene Marsh. But uh, basically about Rod Serling, one thing I kind of thought was interesting is he sort of looks a little like Peter Falk, my other favorite uh, television actor. And I kind of thought the two of them almost look like the same guy, which is kind of weird. Now Jean uh, Marsh is in this episode, and uh, she's been around a long time. In case you don't know who she is, she's been in pretty much a British actress. Uh, not a lot of American appearances, uh, just pretty much known for her stage presence in movie and television acting and in Britain. Uh, and she's also was in the sci-fi show UFO, which I've never seen an episode of, but I guess that was the precursor for Space 1999, another terrific uh, sci-fi t- television show. And by the way, this episode of The Twilight Zone also spawned some of its own merchandise that you can find out there. But uh, basically, it's just a terrific episode, and I recommend it highly. Thank you.